Your bear needs a hug, I think. Good job. That's your bear, huh? But it's kind of an organized disaster. So I have more wrapped presents for those families right here. So now I finished wrapping all of his presents and now I'm going to do his stocking. Welcome back to the vlog. This is gonna be our little weekend vlog. I'm gonna take you guys along with me wrapping presents. And I just wanted to show all the progress that we've made, or I've made because Drew hasn't helped, on wrapping all the presents that we got. So I'm gonna show you after we get Brynny up here. Do you say hi, Bryn? Hi. Do you blow a kiss? Mm -hmm. Kisses? Kisses? Are you ready to get out? Do you want to go eat? Show mama eat. Good job. I forgot to show that Drew hung up Bryn's pictures last night. We haven't decorated her nursery yet and she's 14 months, but we just decided to start and they turned out a tiny bit crooked so he's gonna have to fix them, but yeah. I think they look beautiful. My grandma painted these. She um, watercolor painted them. I'll show you and I love them so we just have to get them hung a little bit more even Brittany do you have your hair up are you ready to go it's not in your eyes anymore it's about 11 o'clock right now and Bryn slept in until 10 30 good job yeah so I let her sleep in until 10.30 and then I started waking her up. It, it was more like 10, um, 10.20. And before I woke her up, I came in here and I put her baby dolls and her milk in her bed, her cup of milk. And then I stuck all these in. She slept with the bear, but I put these two babies in. And then I um, snuck back out and then I started to kind of make loud noises and I woke her up. She ended up playing in here for about 30 minutes and she drank all of her milk and she played with her babies, and I just was editing a video. So, it ended up working out very good. 11 o'clock on Saturday, and we're ready to start our weekend. Drew is at work right now, and when he gets home, I think we are just going to spend the day at home hanging out and finishing some decorating, some Christmas decorating. Hi, do you wanna come see Mama? Say hi. You need to put your passy away. Are you trying to give the passy to the camera? What's this? That's her hat. Good job. Did you say hat? Where's your bear? Get your bear. Your bear needs a hug, I think. Good job. That's your bear, huh? There he is. While Bryn is eating her breakfast, which as you can see, her plate was dirty, so I had to just use her tray. And she's starting to try to use utensils. But while she's eating her breakfast, I'm going to show you guys the progress that I have made. So these are the presents that we're wrapping for the family. And I was going to take them over to my mom's and we were gonna have a wrapping day. But I've just been deciding to do it in my free time. So I still have, I think, three or four more kids left to wrap for. So these are a couple of the kids' presents out here, and I still have to wrap this blanket, but I ran out of um, wrapping paper for that color. Um, their stockings that are wrapped, and all of their presents for one kid are in one color, just to try to keep track of them better, because we don't know their names, so we can't really put their names on each one. And then also, if I have a present that's for a couple of kids to share, if they're around the same age, then I wrapped it in half and half. So... As you can see, this present is for these two boys to share. So that is what those ones are looking like. And then I also have more presents over here for another kid. And the table's a mess because I'm wrapping. And then I have more presents down here for a couple more kids. And their stockings are full. A couple of them, their stockings don't seem full enough. So I might get a couple extra things just to throw in because I'd hate for one kid's stocking to have more presents in it than the other. I don't know, I would just feel bad. So then I'm going to show you 
in my other room. Wilfred's being good out there. This is my present room. So, it's a disaster, but it's kind of an organized disaster. So I have more wrapped presents for those families right here. And then I also have, um, don't mind that gate that's there. We just haven't put that up yet. I have one of Bryn's presents. And then these are all of Drew and I's presents, our family's presents. Well, not really Drew and I's presents because we're, I think, hiding those from each other. But this cooler is Drew's present. And then, um, and then in the crib, we have like Evie and Ella's presents, my nieces, and then we have my parents' presents. Um, I guess there's a couple things for Drew in there. And then um, all of Bryn's presents are in the crib. So these presents will get tackled and I will wrap everything in there after we finish the presents for the families that we're sponsoring. So that way um, I can get these presents done and get those all out of my house into the school or wherever we end up having to take those. And these are the couple kids that are left, and they're two stockings, um, some random stuff in the corner, and then all of the wrapping paper, some more presents in here, and a disaster. So we are just going to back out of here and close the door. That's what we do. We keep it closed, and we don't have to look at it. Hi, Missy. Are you eating? But she's trying to use her utensils. I got this one from, I think it's Ryan and Rose. Well, I ordered it off of Amazon and it's the Ryan and Rose um, fork and spoon combination. But the fork is more of like a grabber. And it doesn't really seem to work for her. She doesn't prefer using that. She likes to use just a regular fork. Um, it kind of picks more up. But that's in the dishwasher right now. So that's why she's not using it. Also, I wanted to show my Christmas decor. Let me turn on my Christmas tree. We have a little um, button over in the corner here so we don't have to unplug it every time. So I will just click that. And here is what our Christmas tree looks like. I don't know what's going on, but I think our tree got cut too short at the bottom because I don't think the tree stand's supposed to be showing at the bottom, but it is because our tree's a little bit short this year. And also, among all the clutter and chaos of Bryn's toys, I tried to decorate a little bit up here. We hit moved our sign over to here and we put a wreath up and I still have to decorate the wreath. I had a bow made for it and then I'm going to switch the red berries out to white berries and put some pine cones in it. So this is what it looks like. We have Bryn stocking up here, a little Christmas tree, which I might have to move because that might look too green next to the wreath. I'm not sure yet, but this is my favorite down here. I filled up our lantern. We just had this lantern for our decor already, and then I filled it up with pine cones and these lights that are on a little timer, and then I put this little Christmas tree next to it. And also there are some berries in there. It was just a bag of like greens, pine cones, berries, um, some random stuff in there, and I thought it was very cute. I got the bag of pine cones from TJ's, and I think it was like $12 or so. And, well, actually, I got the bag of pine cones from Hobby Lobby, and I think it was around um, $12. And then I got this little tree. I think I got the tree from TJ's, but I can't remember. I got this wreath from Hobby Lobby, and this little sign and hanger from Home Goods. And some of this stuff was from last year as well. And then I switched out this picture frame of Bryn to be a gold picture frame for the holidays. I thought that would be more festive. And then this little nativity scene up here is from our friends Jared and Emily, I believe, from our wedding. And that little um, greenery was already back there. Um, we are already had that up there behind our candlestick, but I might change that. And then our sign. So this is actually the next day that I'm picking up the camera because I'm a terrible vlogger and I got busy this weekend and just ended up not vlogging. And I didn't wrap my presents this weekend. I'm wrapping them today. So for that reason, I just decided to start the vlog back up today on Monday. So I'm gonna be wrapping presents today. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys my awesome new diaper bag that I got from Kia Babies. They sent this to me and I'm so excited. I've been using it. I wanted to wait until I've been using it for a couple weeks to make sure I liked it before I showed it on my channel. And I love it. I love it so much that it has replaced my old one. I have put that one downstairs because 
I'm not using it anymore. I love this one. And just so you know, this is no type of promotion or anything. I don't get any money if you guys buy these. I just want to show you because I actually really love it and they were kind enough to send it to me. So I'm going to show you a little tour of my diaper bag quickly. So I just moved my Passy pouch to this one that I have from my other diaper bag, the Jujube, and it's just clipped on here. I love that it's a backpack and it has the option to carry it with handles. Um, so it has these two handles and you can snap them together. One of the things I also love about it is that it has this feature where you can unzip it in the back and easily get to some clothes at the bottom or have access down there if you don't want to dig through the whole bag. So that's very nice. It has two pockets on both sides, which I love that. I love the storage space in here. This is my favorite thing about it, is that it opens up at the top like a big square. And that way, if you need to go quickly and your bag's open, you can just carry it still and you don't have to worry about zipping it. So that's really nice. This kind of sounds funny, but I was really excited about this bag for church because when I'm in church and I have my bag open and Brent's toys everywhere and I need to quickly leave church with Brent if she starts being too loud, I can just quickly pick it up and I don't have to worry about sitting there and zipping it up and stuffing everything inside if Brynn's being loud and I need to make a quick escape. So that was one of the reasons I was really excited about this. And then also, I love how much storage it has, especially for church as well, because I have to pack tons of toys to keep Brynn busy. So this fits so much. It fits a lot. It has lots of pockets inside. And then it also has a huge middle center. It has a little zipper here where I keep all of Brynn's hair stuff. And then lastly, I love this pouch in the front. It's an inner it's an insulated pouch, and you can keep food in it. You can also keep bottles in it, but Brynn doesn't take bottles anymore, and it's these little insulated bottle holders. Um, this is actually a jar of food that I had in here I need to take out. And then it has her snacks in the front, and it has this little mesh pouch as well. So I'm in love with this bag, and I just wanted to show you guys a quick little glimpse of it. Let me get Brittany up here. Brittany, look. Look at the camera. Hi. So to close out the vlog, I just wanted to wrap some presents and now I'm going to wrap this deck of presents in this red and white striped wrapping paper. So I'm going to get started.
wrapping all of his presents and now I'm going to do his stocking. And I will show you what's inside the stocking. It's nothing too exciting because we had to be a little bit minimal on the stockings in order to spend most of the money on their presents. So it's kind of just some basic things like body wash, some socks, socks, and I have some, and I have some cologne, some gum, some deodorant, a toothbrush and toothpaste, and a pack of candy. And I did a pack of candy and a toothbrush and toothpaste in every stocking. And then for some of the boys, I did deodorant and body wash. And only some of the boys got socks because I didn't have enough socks for all of them. So now I'm going to wrap these things up and I will put them in the stocking. And also, if you guys have any suggestions of some less expensive things that I can throw into some of the boys' stockings, I still need a few more stocking stuffers. <laughs> I still need a few more stuffers for a couple of the boys. Um, this stocking will be pretty full, but for a couple of the other boys, I need a couple more things. So if you have some ideas, make sure and leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear them. battery pack died so I had to quick get a new battery but I have all of the little stocking presents wrapped and don't mind how bad some of them are wrapped. I ran out of paper and I had to piece different pieces together to be able to keep all the same wrapping paper so I'm going to just stuff this stocking here quick. because I wanted to make sure that they each were able to open presents out of the stocking because I think that's so fun even if they're just simple things like my family we get toothpaste and toothbrushes in our stocking usually every Christmas from my mom and it's usually just simple things in our stockings but we still love them because it's just fun opening a stocking so I wanted to make sure that they each had a stocking to open so this is his and now I'm going to start wrapping the brother's presents and I'm gonna go pick out his wrapping paper. Okay, now I have all of the last boy's presents to wrap, and I'm going to be using this really cute dog wrapping paper. I will show you it up close from TJ Maxx. I don't know if you can see it here, but. this little boy's presents. The only thing I didn't wrap is his clothing because I still need to get him a couple more pieces of clothing. But just to make sure I don't forget whose clothing this is, I taped a little piece of wrapping paper on it, the tag, so that way it stays with his presents even if it gets separated. 
And I have his stocking done, but we are missing a toothpaste. So I just left the toothbrush unwrapped so I know which one the extra toothpaste goes in. And then I will wrap the toothpaste with this toothbrush once I buy it at the store. So we have his stocking. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. The wrapping presents. And I'm cooking something, so that was just the timer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog with me wrapping presents and just hanging out this weekend. And also, I might do another wrap with me when I wrap my daughter's presents. I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be bored of seeing another wrap with me or if you would enjoy that. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye! Mm -hmm.